So I'm near the Jatinga River. So as you can see behind me, we have been having lots of landslides and these boulders were found on the road and now they have been put aside. And whenever there's rain, a lot of rocks, a lot of mud fall down and this road becomes completely covered. And every time there's rain, uh, we have to come and get it removed. This is the protection that they have given for the road. The height of the, I'll show you the height. From the level of the road, you can see the height of the retaining wall is just around my chest. Whereas this vertical wall of rocks and soil is just waiting to fall down whenever there's rainfall. So this offers no protection at all. You can see there's still rocks and soil on the road. Okay, let me take you a bit further ahead, around 200 meters. So this was supposed to be a four lane highway. In this area, you can see it is hardly one lane. So here you can see this part of the road is completely covered. It has been like this for months now. So this retaining wall is much higher than the one I showed you, but even this is not enough. This part of the newly constructed highway has been lying useless for many months now. Here I am standing in the middle of the highway. On my left hand side is the road. On my right hand side, soil on top of the road. And now plants have started growing on top of it. This side of the hill is almost gone. This side of the road is completely buried under layers and layers of soil. But even the right hand side of the road is now covered. I'm standing on top of an emergency road which has been dug out, trees have fallen down and it will keep on falling. If you can see, it's still very loose, the soil, you can make it out from here and once it starts raining, it will just keep on coming down. Unscientific cutting of the soil, unscientific cutting of the hills and mountains and let me just show you how this hill used to look used to look like those are the hills which are still untouched so this is how it all used to be but now um, this is the where we used to have fresh air now we have dust and look what we have here we even have a man-made lake now in the middle of the road. So how did the company which built this road did such unscientific cutting of the soil and such unscientific cutting of the mountains and hills that it has resulted in this? I mean, I'm not an expert, but even I can make out that this has not been done right. And how did the highway authority pass this? And look at what happens to the retaining wall also, even if it is built. Right now I'm in the middle of two villages. On my right hand side is Kelolo village and towards my left hand side is Notun Lekul village. So these two villages used to be joined earlier. They were part of the same uh, hill. But after this highway was built, it got divided into two different villages. And let me show you the condition of this stretch of road right now. It has been just few years since this highway has been completed. So this part of the road is completely blocked. And even on the other side, a lot of landslide. No retaining wall on this side of the road.
out here there is a huge crack it's like a river in the middle of a road i'm near notun lekul village now and let me show you what has been going on here so the nkc company working for the national highway authority of india has started building this uh, retaining wall recently so this is the retaining wall which is being built so whenever it rains heavily this part of the road gets completely covered with soil with landslide beyond this hill is the notun lekul village and the villagers have been demanding for the company to build a retaining wall that is much more bigger and much more stronger but if you can see the height of the retaining wall which is being built is just slightly above the road level it is not even higher than the retaining wall on the other side and even this retaining wall has not worked see this part of the road is completely under soil so after the villagers protested i think the work is on halt right now so every year during monsoon this road gets completely covered with soil this is a highway which connects us to silchar uh, which is a very busy commercial city and lots of uh, commercial vehicles travel here during the rainy season when landslides happen vehicles get stuck here for hours and sometimes even for days yes i'm not walking on top of a dry river bed this is a national highway this is national highway 54 earlier i showed you a river in the middle of a road now let me show you a waterfall yes all of this is in the middle of a highway this is national highway 54 So this landslide is huge. This this is the biggest so far. And they still think that building retaining walls like this will be of any help. This is the result of greed. this is what happens when you put money before lives of people and the earth unfortunately this is all that i'll be able to show you today i had borrowed my father in law's vehicle and they need to go somewhere now what i'm planning to do next is uh, talk to some villagers living nearby and uh, so that we can hear their stories you can hear their stories after that i'd like to go and meet people from the nhai the national highway authority of india and nkc company uh, which has been building this road now i'd like to get some answers from them how did they plan to build this road what went wrong and if this is their idea of building a road a highway road then it has clearly failed on all levels i'd also like to request anyone who is watching this and who would like to help in any way please let's get in touch let's take this story further so until then take care i'll see you in the next video